Yo, what's good guys, home, welcome back to another video here on my channel and today we're going to talk about the G-Pro Superlight, which has been my main mouse since roughly around one month. In the first place, I want to talk about the build quality, the features and a few negative aspects of this mouse. To be fair guys, I have to mention that these negative aspects or flaws all come down to personal preference, so just keep that in mind. When it comes down to the build quality, Logitech did a fantastic job. There's no bending, no squeezing and only a tiny bit of side flex on the front mouse buttons. The scroll wheel feels really premium, especially with the extra rubber touch. On the main mouse clicks is no noticeable post or pre-travel, which also applies for the side buttons. To be fair, I would love a little bit more feedback on the side buttons though, since they don't have a lot of physical response if you actually press them down, which wouldn't usually matter, but since tons of people utilize side buttons nowadays, I just thought it was worth mentioning. The coating is solid and almost at a point where it's actually too smooth. Like guys, literally if you have sweaty hands, you're gonna slip off this mouse so often. Therefore Logitech sends you as well a few mouse grips in the package, which is actually a cool way in my opinion to solve this issue because some people actually prefer having like a really smooth mouse, you know, they, they don't like anything rubberish. And here you can see for yourself if you actually prefer having a bit more grippy texture on your mouse, since you can of course always remove them and they're not just built in into the mouse. I always love it when companies give you some additional stuff, let's say HK Gaming, they even give you replaceable mouse switches and Logitech decided, okay, what, what can we offer our customers? Let's give them some rubber skins, you know? It's, it's just a cool feature, you know, no one complains about it. It probably doesn't cost them too much to actually put these in each package and yeah, it just makes the product overall feel so much more premium. The mouse itself feels really light since it's less than 63 grams and the only actual issue I witnessed with this mouse were the mouse feet since they're really thin and therefore I just had to replace them with some Tiger Ice mouse gates because the stock ones caused friction on my soft pads so keep that in mind. You might have to replace the stock mouse feet when you consider to purchase this mouse. You can trust me there guys, the stock mouse feet on the Superlight are really bad. They always sank into my mouse pad which caused a lot of friction. Just invest these 7 to 10 dollars for some high quality Tiger mouse feed to utilize the full potential of your mouse. I'm going to leave a link in the description as well if you maybe consider purchasing some mouse gates. The battery life on the Superlight is also phenomenal. I literally charged this mouse only two times now and I've got it since one month. And as labeled on the box, it says you can use it full on for two weeks. And I can indeed confirm this, this is actually true. Like I've charged this mouse only two times now and I've got it since one month, which is just amazing. I know for a fact that tons of people don't want to get a wireless mouse because they think they've always got to recharge it. With this super light, you're not gonna have this issue, trust me. And now let's talk a little bit more about sizing and grip styles because this mouse is 125 millimeters times 63.5 millimeters, which makes it fairly medium sized, I would say. You're probably gonna have the best experience with medium sized hands. I would say probably anything around 15 to maybe 18 centimeters is gonna be optimal. And don't be worried guys, if you have some bigger hands as me, I've got like 22.5 centimeter hands and I can still perfectly grip this mouse without any issues. My grip style is kinda a weird mixture between palm and fingertip grip. No matter which grip style you've got, all of them are possible on this mouse since it's quite medium sized and ambidextrous, which makes it really easy for all the grip styles to be applied. And yeah guys, this is it for today's review. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more tech reviews. If you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section. I try to answer as many as possible. Huge shout out again to my sponsor Edis guys. If you're really looking for some high quality top tier mouse pads, mouse game whatsoever please make sure to click on the link in the description and check my boys out you already know the vibes and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace